To add a object to the composition, and is a UFO, a spaceman. I'm gonna scale it down a little bit. So using scale, I'm gonna bring it to about 50% the original scale. Now I want to tag the smoke. I want to attach the smoke to the UFO. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go back to my effects control, make sure that I highlight the green solid layer where I have applied already particle playground. And next, I'm gonna add an expression to position. Basically, I want to um, target uh, the center of the smoke as being the UFO. So holding down option on the keyboard, I click on the uh, canon position of particle playground, the numbers become red, which means that it's ready to accept a expression, which I'm going uh, uh, not to tie this time, but which I'm going to drag onto the properties of the space man. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go onto uh, my UFO, display the uh, property position, and I want to make sure that whatever the position of the spaceman is will also be the position of the particles. In order to do so, I select again this uh, text and uh, using the pick whip from uh, the uh, position of the cannon, I drag it onto the values of the position. Uh, if I wanted, I could uh, target individually X or Y, but in this case, I'm happy with both of them at the same time. Now, uh, when I play back, nothing happened. Basically, the smoke comes out of the UFO because currently the UFO is still. So if I want to animate now the UFO, I will have to go down here where we have the position of the UFO and add an expression to it. So it will be option click and I'm starting adding an expression to it. And the expression will be wiggle as usual. And I will be wiggling it slowly, which means less than once a second. And for anything less than once a second, I will start with, uh, with uh, dot. Uh, five, or you can say 0 0.5. 0 0.5 means every two seconds. And I say every two seconds, you are allowed to move around in the composition within a range of plus minus 300 pixels on X and Y. So that when I play back the video, the UFO moves and the smoke follows. Now, to make it look even uh, nicer now, I also want to add an expression to scale, so the spaceman will also uh, run uh, back and forth, like running away from the smoke. And in order to do so, all I need to do is just to display the scale and add a expression, a wiggle expression also for scale. However, scale is a little bit more complex uh, to apply expression because exactly like position, it has two values, one for X and one for Y. And for position, it's, it's okay that the UFO is moving on the X and on the Y, but it's not okay that it's scaling on X and Y with two different values. So I want to keep the expression with the same value. To do so, I'm gonna hold down option onto scale. The numbers become red. It's ready to set an expression. And the expression here is a little bit more complicated. It's, uh, uh, first of all, uh, a method of defining a variable in order to uh, spell it properly with, uh, with the uh, syntax. I will add a, a variable, var. It's not really necessary, but it's a good practice to do so. And then I'm gonna define the name of the variable. In this case, just for the ease of use, I'm gonna call it my wiggle. So uh, I will uh, uh, apply a space after that, equal, and then I will define uh, how I want to wiggle the scale of the UFO. Um, in uh, order to do so, I will add the two values for frequency and magnitude. It will be, again, uh, 0.5, 30, which means that I allow the UFO to change the scale within a range of plus minus 30% every two seconds. And after the uh, round uh, parenthesis at the end of the expression, I will add a square bracket and uh, uh, number zero, and again, another square bracket to close with wiggle. I'm gonna add a semicolon at the end of the first line of the expression, start a new line, and the new line into square bracket, I just have to write my wiggle, comma, my wiggle and close the square bracket. Basically, I'm saying apply this same value of wiggle to both X and Y. So that when the UFO runs away, it scales up and, is, uh, scale, and it scales down by the same amount of percentage and looking like it's running away from the smoke without uh, squeezing and stretching the proportion of the UFO. This is the uh, final touch, would be to add some motion blur to make it look even more uh, realistic. And uh, we are done with this tutorial. Thank you for watching.